This is your CBS 46 News update. Good morning, I'm Gravier Dinsa. A triple shooting in Atlanta has left a 17-year-old dead. It happened last night at the Commons Apartments on MLK and Middleton Road about 10 o'clock. Police say it started as an armed robbery. Investigators didn't say whether the other two people who were shot were teens as well. We do know they were taken to Grady Hospital. A disturbing interaction in a classroom caught on camera. A Rockdale County teacher has been arrested after a confrontation with a student. It happened last Friday. Another student shared the video Monday. Students say the teacher in that video is seen yelling at the student to sit down. Some say the teacher then slapped the 14-year-old student. Others say that student was shoved. That kicked off an investigation that led to the arrest of 44-year-old social studies teacher Marquette Thin. A spokesperson for the Rockdale County School District could not comment, saying this is a personnel issue, but said they do expect all employees to conduct themselves professionally and ethically. A second investigation into the death of a Valdosta teenager who was found in a rolled up gym mat in 2013 has been closed with no charges being filed. The body of 17 year old Kendrick Johnson was found in the mat at Lowndes County High School. The initial investigation concluded the cause of death was accidental asphyxiation, but Johnson's parents think their son was killed. The Johnson family plans to hold an event outside the sheriff's office today to respond to this latest report. The man charged in the murder of a six-month-old has been denied bond. Prosecutors say 22-year-old DeQuazy Little is a danger to the community. Police say six-month-old Grayson Fleming Gray was in a car with his mother when he was caught in the crossfire of a shootout between people in two other cars. Now, we checked and we found that Little has a criminal history. He's been arrested several times, charged with aggravated assault and strangulation. Today, Mayor Andre Dickens is hosting Congresswoman Nakima Williams. The goal is to discuss how the Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act is going to benefit Metro Atlanta. The meeting is happening this afternoon at the Atlanta Department of Transportation North Avenue facility. And it is another cold day, but get ready for colder temperatures. Here's Ella with a look at that forecast. It is going to be a really nice, but also like Gavir said, pretty chilly day. Temperatures will top out in the low 50s with sunshine. We'll get increasing clouds after the time that the sun sets tonight, but that's not really going to impact temperatures. It'll be another cold night in the low 30s. But this Arctic blast that's moving into our country, it arrives tomorrow night and it settles in on Saturday. Saturday morning, wind chills will be in the single digits. This is dangerous cold. You can see through the day, wind chills stay in the teens and 20s. So be ready. Saturday is going to be brutally cold and so is Sunday morning. We will see sunshine through the weekend and by Monday, we'll be right back up into the upper 50s. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.